Um, hello guys, we are talking today. We are drawing an ellipse using the approximate method over here. Approximate method of drawing an ellipse having that our uh, major is 100 millimeter and our minor is 60 millimeter. All we do we represent our major axis and our minor axis. This is our major axis by a horizontal horizontal line, and then our minor axis by a vertical line over here. So we pick our minor axis, which is hundred. Our major axis, which is hundred millimeter. We pick in our major axis, hundred millimeter, using our rule. Using our rule over here. 100 millimeter so 50 we're taking 50 downward sorry 50 to the left 50 to the right i will pick 50 here then we'll place it at point o strike an arc over here and also to the left I will call this point here point A and then we'll call this point over here point B. Now also take our minor which is 16 millimeter. So we're taking 30 upward, 30 downward. This is 30 millimeter over here can see 30 millimeter you place it up and down and you call this point over here point C and then point D over there so The next step, you join points A and point D together. Let me do this with that. You can see properly point A and point D together. Point A and D together. Then yeah, don't forget to call this point over here point zero. Now using point zero and A as radius, point zero and A as radius, you extend the arc to hit the extend the arc zero and A, extend the arc to hit a vertical line over here, the extended vertical line, and we call that E point E. Now using line points d to e as radius distance make an arc such that it hits line ad the point which it hits line ad we call it point f then we bisect line AF, open to your radius more than half, we strike an arc, strike an arc, put your peanuts A, strike an arc, you strike an arc, you join line, join these points, bisected points together to hit a vertical line downward make sure you do it perfectly so as you not get any mistake so you join the line stop where it hits points line where it hits line 
extension a vertical line extension to the down then we'll call that g point g and then where it's intersected point zero to a call that point zero one now we transfer the same distance of zero of a to a1 of a to zero one stand a to zero one here i'll pick it over here and place our pin at b and i'll strike an arc we call this point point zero two point zero two now using points zero two and point g this point g over here and point zero two over here we draw a straight line this way now we extend point o to point g point o to point g upward and call that point h call this point here point h then from point h over here to point zero one you draw a straight line passing through point O draw a straight line from point H passing through point zero one you can see it over here similarly we also draw a line from point H to zero two to point zero two and then we'll draw a straight line over here. And now using points zero one distance at point A using point zero one distance at point A point zero one distance at point A we we'll create an arc this way use points zero one distance at a to create a arc similarly at points zero two we do same over here just this way you can see the boots are perfectly done so now we stretch a compass from point G point G point compass and point G we stretch it to D point D which is our one part of our minor point over there point D so we trace it over here and here you find out that the compass here didn't reach D properly, so we extend a little to reach D. Make sure you are doing it, you extend it very well so that you will not get an error as this is a sensitive area over here. See, 
So also place it at point H, extend it to C. You can see it's touching at C. Check here. Look at it very so it will be that it's touching at C here. So so what we do. can see it hits the point over here remember to do it perfectly or else you keep on repeating it without getting it first step we draw our horizontal line and our vertical line we pick our major axis 100 millimeter 50 to the left 50 to the right we pick our minor axis 30 to the 30 upward 30 downward since it's 60 millimeter we label it a b as a major c d as our minor we join a and d together line and point a to point d with a line then using radius using distance zero and a as radius we create an arc to hit the vertical line at point e now using points E and D as distance radius pin at D, we create an arc to hit line A, D at point F. Now we've gotten that so we have point A and F, we bisect line A, F over here, here, bisect it upward and downward over here. So we project a line to hit at our horizon our vertical line downward which we call point g it also intersects at zero a a zero zero a we call it point zero one similarly we transfer the distance a to zero one to b over here b to zero two to get a zero two so we also project like point g zero two to have a straight line over here so we transfer the distance between 0 to g upward to get 0 to h so using point h and 0 1 we got this line over here now after that we use h to 0 2 to get this point over here now placing your compass at 0 not you open we extend it to 0 to A and then you have this arc. Similarly, from 0 to extend to B, you have this arc. Now, then from G, you extend it to D, you have this arc. Now, also similarly from H, you extend it to C, you also have this arc. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and have a blessed day ahead.